Let's talk about some anxiety, man. But, you know, I'm not even going to tell you my story. But let's just talk about some anxiety. So, basically, let's say, I don't know how I've had a good feeling. Oh, yeah, something about negative thoughts, man. Throughout, like, being, well, throughout being kind of, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I made a video about, I was focusing on just being present for, like, 10 months. And basically, what I meant by that video is that I was just focusing on just trying to be as much present as I can because I watched Hamza so made a video. And he said, like, oh, if you're not present, people can see that and then people can read your thoughts. And, like, oh, I was kind of scared of that, so... I decided to just focus on just being more present as much as I can. And throughout this, throughout this, I kind of like, to be honest, man, I was kind of questioning about it. Like, yeah, like, I don't know, man. I'll be honest, man, I, I can admit, I can be anxious, man, like, I guess I can be pretty anxious as well. Sometimes I get negative thoughts and then like, and then I just kind of like, I kind of like feel like people can see me like, well, I feel like I bring that type of energy back to like myself and I feel scared of like, oh, oh people can see that now I'm a bad person. Like, do you see, man? Do you see how can, that can happen or, but just being anxious about what people were think of, will think about me like if you're anxious like do you also feel that man or sometimes you feel like scared of what people will think about you i mean and then like we, and i also can say like oh i don't care about what people think but then like i have that reason like of course i probably care about what people think about me man of course i probably care and I mean, I can understand why, which I, we, I also made a note of a video about, let's discuss some trauma, and I can understand why I would be a lot more anxious, you know, from childhood, and I kind of feel like it's more correlated to childhood, and, yeah. And I kind of felt like this affected more about my relationships too, because like, perhaps like if I get a woman, I might be a little bit more anxious. Like, to be honest, man. Okay, to be honest, man, I never actually really told this to anybody. I have even made a video about it, but I've been speaking to a girl in Roblox. So no, I can't date her, man. No, I can't. But it's just that, uh, I so I, I I can just kind of feel my mind just kind of being anxious. It's like we're not even dating, and my mind is just like it's just kind of like saying like like oh she like talking with other guys or something. And I don't even know what's the dynamic of that relationship to be honest with like friends or what. it's like I don't know, but I noticed that more about how myself I can be more anxious, just like opening to. To love basically and i think this is also something you should be careful of too uh, i've been reading <clears throat> of the attached book and perhaps if you're anxious being with someone avoiding is definitely something that you should be like be careful for because if because if you're anxious you probably want intimacy closeness and for the avoiding they probably want like like boundaries and like that so, of course, I'm working my way to become more secure, but but also, that wouldn't be also a good thing, man. I know that I also have some secure things about me, honestly, and I, I can actually see that. But I can also realize that, yeah, okay, I'll be honest, I'm kind of anxious too, man. So, also something to keep in mind, and actually... Also, you can ask yourself this question if you're secure, you're anxious, or you're, you're, you're kind of avoidant, to be honest, man. You got to admit these things to yourself, man. And for me, I'm anx I can be anxious, man. Also, for some reason, that, for some reason, this kind of feels weird again, but... Yeah.
To be honest, man, I'm not sure actually really what to talk about in this video, honestly. I guess be more aware about how if you're like anxious, avoidant, or secure. And kind of just like, if you're anxious, then just kind of be more open, man. Be open to intimacy. Well, actually, I think that's like, well, kind of understand that, yeah, that's, you do probably want a connection. So I don't think that's a bad thing for wanting connection, man. Like, I think love is a feminine thing. For sure, but definitely, it's not it's not a bad thing for us, man. It's not a bad thing to like experience love in your life, definitely. And I I used to think that oh I'm feminine, like I'm just feminine, man. For like thinking about love, which, uh, which uh, it's like, mm, but like at the same time, man, I think love is also an important thing, and I don't even think it has to be from love. Girl, it can also be from your family and stuff. So, it's like, not really. Not really. I'm not sure, but... Alright. Well, I hope you can understand from this video. Sorry that there's not really that much, but... I guess... I don't know. I might make a part two about it, so... Do the right thing. Don't give up, man. Alright. Take care.